comes to making videos about Martha's Vineyard, I get overwhelmed sometimes because I love the island so much, I don't know where to start. In this two-part video, I'm just going to focus on some specific places that I really like, some of which I recently discovered for the first time. But first, a bit of drama. See that big mega yacht coming into the frame? Yeah, so... <laughs> It tried to dock in a narrow space in Edgartown, and it ended up getting stuck and seriously damaging and sideswiping a fishing vessel in the process. master came out and yelled at the captain of the yacht. Direct quote, Congratulations, you just ruined someone's livelihood. You're done here. Once we help you get out of this mess, you've lost all your Edgartown privileges. See if Vineyard Haven will take you in. Man, I wish I'd gotten that on video. A slow motion disaster unfolded and it attracted a crowd. Okay, now to the cool places. In the northern point of Martha's Vineyard, there are two points of land jutting out. One is called West Chop, and the other is called East Chop. Now, riding my moped around, I encountered a place called West Chop Woods. I'd never been here before, and this place is awesome. It's like a forest from a fairy tale. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about, why the vineyard is so damn awesome. I was just riding along on my moped in West Chop and I saw just a sign that said West Chop Wood. Got off and walking around right now, it's this beautiful trail system um, in some gorgeous woodland here on the island. Had no idea it was here. There are so many gems like this all over the island. You will never have the same experience twice. recommend let's say you have limited time like a day or two pick one or two or three things if you have time pick a few things to do well that you can fully absorb as opposed to trying to see the entire island in a crushed amount of time and doing 20 things half acidly now to Katama Beach aka South Beach on the southeastern part of the island I love this beach the sand slants downward toward the water, and there's a slight underwater drop-off, making for great swimming conditions. Best swim I had all summer. Breezy, no mosquitoes, 
This bottom portion of the island is open to the mighty Atlantic, a perfect beach to spend all day on with the family. Let's go. Now to Lambert's Cove, a secluded beach about 15 minutes southwest of West Chop Woods. I 100% bumped into this place by accident. I'd never been here before, and it's a beautiful New England beach. Cove Beach. This area is gorgeous. It, uh, the dunes rise up and they, they go down and the forest is kind of below them. You know what I mean? So up on a hill. I don't know if that's land management or if it's naturally dune occurring. I think it's naturally occurring, but it is just, this is the kind of New England beach that I just love, 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 love. Beautiful.